Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat, channel donations, the Venmos, and the Patreon family. I did a live stream, just ended, it was a long one. We got some Super Chats, we growing, the channel's working. I appreciate everybody for holding it down. Right now, I wanna give you guys this update. I am on Jesse Vargas's Instagram, and he feels there's a lot of talk and wants to clear the air. He posted a picture of him when he fought Saddam Ali in March of last year, I believe it was. And he says in the caption, just to be clear on the Miguel Cotto offer, my advisor, Guadalupe, informed me that Golden Boy was interested in me fighting Miguel Cotto. I immediately expressed interest. However, the money that Golden Boy offered was not close to sufficient for such an important fight. I respect Cotto as he is a Hall of Famer, but frankly, the fight they picked for him is not up to par with his legacy. I knocked him out. I knocked out Ali in the ninth round, and we were both fighting at 147 boom so he put his bid in and explained from his side and i love my job new media one of the things that i told you guys it, the funny thing is this people always come to my page some people agree some people disagree but it's funny when a lot of what i said and a lot of what i say you have respected fighters and or trainers and people in the industry who corroborate what I say. Now, I've already expressed my thoughts on the Miguel Cotto fight, and it sounds like me and Jesse Vargas are on the same page. Jesse Vargas says, and I quote, in case you didn't hear, he says, I respect Cotto, he's a Hall of Fame fighter, but frankly, the fight they picked for him is not up to par with his legacy. I told you for me, I would have preferred another opponent. In fact, I would have preferred like a James Kirkland because at least that that at that point, it's a guy who's fought in the 150 pounds and a guy who hadn't been stopped necessarily last year. And Jesse Vargas, is he's reminding you in the, war, in the words of his old trainer, Roy Jones Jr., y'all must have forgot. He's reminding you that, hey, don't get it twisted. I stopped Saddam Ali. Now, Saddam Ali is an Olympian. He's a great guy. I've interviewed him before. But the fact is, he's he's going up to fight Kodo, a legend, at 154. So they're both big names, or, or they're both from New York area or second home for Kodo. But I, I would say most of the advantages go to Miguel Kodo, right? Especially size and, and experience at that high level. I mean, Kodo's been in fights with Pacquiao and Mayweather. Need I say any more? So, I mean, I agree with Jesse Vargas. And I also told you that Golden Boy, of course, they're going to throw out all these names of the Jesse Vargases and Danny Garcia, Errol Spence Jr., Mikey Garcia, all these people that refuse to fight. But I told you, this is the other thing that I stated, aside from the, the quality of Cotto's final fight, is I knew there had to be a reason why these fights were turned down. And that's the thing. They're talking about Jesse Vargas has picked up Al Heyman as an advisor. Don't quote me on that because I haven't contacted Jesse. I haven't reached out to his team, so I'm not 100% sure, but I do know some sources and some different people also in the industry, and it's leading me to believe that he might his top rank contract might have ended. He may be talking to Al Heyman, or Al Heyman may have picked him up. And I mean, I wouldn't be shocked because he's he's in the second leg of his career. He's been in the game for a while. He used to be signed to Mayweather promotions directly Mayweather has a good relationship with um, Jesse Vargas still and you know he's looking for big fights so they said he might get a Keith Thurman fight won't and, and stuff like that so after the Pacquiao fight you're not looking to even though he lost that fight you're not looking to backtrack he wants to get the big fights the the top quality welterweight fights where he can prove his worth so I ain't mad at it get your money but like I said Golden Boy is gonna throw out all the people that quote unquote refused the Kodo fight, but I told you it was more than meets the eye. I don't think the people are making it, spinning it like Jesse Vargas is ducking Kodo. Now, Pacquiao stopped Kodo, I think in the 11th round, right? And Jesse Vargas, as a champion, fought against Pacquiao. So I don't, to me, you gotta make it sense. Jesse Vargas hasn't looked like he's in, he's the ducking type, really. 
You know what I mean? He was down to fight Kell Brook before Kell Brook decided to leap up and fight Golovkin. And Kell Brook was the champion undefeated. And the only reason the fight broke up is because Eddie Hearn and Kell Brook pulled, kind of pulled out of the negotiations of those fights that were kind of stalling or whatever and then fought Golovkin. And he actually fought Pacquiao. So, I mean, why would you duck Cotto? But you got to keep in mind, you got to make it make sense. Jesse Vargas is a career 140 pounder who moved up, has a couple fights at welterweight, right? Was a champion for a period of time at welterweight. But for him to move up another division, you got to make it make sense, especially to fight a guy like he says that he respects in Miguel Cotto. So again, to me, it's this this whole thing, like I said, is nothing more than it's nothing more than Golden Boy talking about failed options and Errol Spence and Jesse Vargas to make it look like they tried to make all these fights and the fighters didn't want it. But obviously Errol Spence, he, he knows he's on, on par to stay and do great things at welterweight. Jesse Vargas might get a Keith Thurman shot. So, I mean, realistically, for, for low money, I mean, I don't know the offer was, but according to this post, Jesse Vargas didn't like the offer. So... You know what I mean? You got to make it make sense. So to fight a legend and a Hall of Famer, and that's all you're trying to offer him, you know what I mean? Why not just stay in your weight class and then fight the top guys there like Keith Thurman? It just makes sense. You know what I mean? And like I said, if you fought Pacquiao, then I don't see why you wouldn't. So I'll keep you guys updated if Jesse Vargas is signed to Al Heyman. Again, I haven't got confirmation of it, but you see this recent picture of him and Floyd Mayweather from September 11th. Um... Respects to all the people who lost their life on September 11th since I've seen the date. That's obviously what everyone remembers on that that date. But, um, I mean, I agree with Jesse Vargas. And, I mean, like I said, Miguel, I, I respect Miguel Cotto. He's a legend. But everything he said was fact. He stopped Saddam Ali last year, and that's who Cotto's fighting. And another reason is, I mean, Cotto just, to me, really wanted to end his career like this because that's how he is ending it. Fighting Kama guy and then fighting a guy that got stopped at welterweight last year, Saddam Ali. That's those are actual factual information, right? And notice all the Errol Spences and Mikey Garcia, Saddam, all these guys are welterweights. So to me, he didn't want no smoke with Charlo or Edislandi Lada, Demetrius Andre before he decided to move up to middleweight. He wanted to to do that. And Jesse Vargas is expressing his 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 thoughts on it and he says it's not up to par living legend he probably would have preferred him to go out with a little sturdier test and, and that's fair i understand that and i respect it but i mean let me know your thoughts let me know if you think or if you know personally some of you guys are, are probably connected to these camps if jesse vargas is actually signed to al Heyman. but again here's him with floyd drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.